you know, it gets a bit a bit hectic after we're here at Rum Experience, so thank goodness that someone's parked a car handily in here. We're just going to park on it for a minute. But if you just want to introduce your name and the brand that you brought here to Rum Experience. Uh, uh, my name's Jimmy Pierce. Um, I'm from a bar in North London, uh, Wax Jambu, and I'm working with the guys on Chairman's Reserve today. Um, Thank you, Chairman Reserve, for this car. Oh my gosh, my feet really need it at this isn't point. It cool? Yes. <laughs> isn't it cool? So yeah, we're just kind of sampling as much rum as we can, making some punch, which to be honest, I think we've sold out of. You know, oh it's been crazy this weekend. So it is pretty hectic. Right, I see you got some good, the good stuff in your hand. So tell us a little bit about that, and also. When it comes to this, um, I know that with wine, people like to savour and smell and all that kind of stuff. Can you do the same thing with rum? And if so, what is the best way to, you know, like kind of take it all in rather than just drinking, put coke in it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's the magic of rum. I mean, it's such an experience with every different rum you try. It's important to make sure that you're, you're getting a good nose on it because with so many different rums, you know, you have completely different experiences from the mouthfeel and what you get from the nose. So with the Chairman's Reserve here, our signature rum. It's got a really lovely tropical fruit nose. You can really taste bananas, which is perfect for a St. Lucian rum. Well, when you smell it, you can taste banana. Yeah, yeah, it goes straight through, it's great. And then uh, in the mouth, it's really smooth to begin with, and it's got a lovely dry finish. Uh, you can taste the oak and a little bit of smoke in there. I mean, does it have to be great. a particular um, style of cup when you do that? It is, it is much easier um, to have something with a a much smaller uh, top to the glass because then it does concentrate the, the aromas uh, and it's easier for you to swirl it about without spilling on people which is important today. So when you do that swirling is that mixing the, so you get the, the aroma? Exactly it does it really opens it up like a good wine like you say you know it's good to let it breathe so not that we have much chance to let it breathe today because <laughs> it's just going straight down everyone's mouths but you know. Hi, I'm Jen Bernreuter from Specialty Brands and the brand that we're showing today is Diplomatico Rum. Right, um, I can see that there's loads of tastings and things going on, but you brought something a bit unique right here to the Rum Fest, so what is it? We have, for the first time, we are personalising bottles and selling um, Diplomatico Reserva Exclusiva for the same price as usual, but with people's bespoke picture on the bottle. And how has that gone down and is it something you're only doing at Rumfest or is it something that you're going to keep on doing? This is our launch of doing it and I suppose it's a bit of a test pad but what we've seen is that people are really, they really want their picture on the bottle. Um, last year we, we sold about 70 bottles on the weekend and yesterday we sold 70 bottles alone. So from a commercial point of view it's wonderful but also when people take that bottle home they're very unlikely to throw it away. So their friends see it, they try it, and potentially uh, next year we'll bring it back and be slightly bigger and people will know more what we're about. Uh, well, my name is Miguel Smith. I am the UK and European brand ambassador for Mount Gay Rum. Mount Gay Rum, multi award winning. So many people here love it. When I ask them what's their favorite brand, um, why do you think so many people love it? And also, why do you come back to Rumfest each year? Well, we, we're always happy to be here at Rumfest uh, as you know, the oldest rum in the world. Uh, we really do represent uh, what rum is all about and uh, we're happy to be here. Uh, the UK uh, consumer and uh, the international consumer that we get to get into contact with uh, in the UK is really one that appreciates good rum and uh, we're just really happy to be here. But also, what would you say to people who are maybe wanting to research um, different brands rather than just inquire about the taste, what would you tell them about going out to find out about the history and also making that a deciding factor in what they're doing? Okay, well, in the, our, our, our range that is available in the UK, the, the Mangue Eclipse is uh, 2 to 7 years old, the Mangue Extra Old 7 to 15 and for a more discerning uh, a, a rum drinker, a more mature drinker, we have the exceptional 1703. Um, uh, the, the consistency that we've had from the very beginning, the legacy of blending with uh, Alan Smith, our, our master blender, is, is something that I think you know the world should experience. It. If we if we had rum in the United Nations, there'd be no war. Everybody would be completely happy. Um, and, and I think you know rum is for the masses, really. This man Which? with a twirl in his beard. That's what the rum does to you, the rum fest experience. Absolutely right. That's that's what good rum should do to you. It should make you have fun and enjoy life. And hopefully I won't grow the moustache, but it's all good. <laughs> all right, name and brand. I'm sorry, name and brand. Name and brand. Esteban Ordonez and Sir Alice or Don Q. Don Q. You, you say it so much better than I do. 
Oh no, you, you say it quite nicely as well, please. Uh, Sir Alex, say uh, it. Uh, I was Sir Alex. There Is you that go. right? Hey, awesome. well there you go. <laughs> right now you guys, award winning, lots of history. Very, very happy on, on, on the winnings. I mean, uh, well deserved as well. Roberto is an amazing man. The distillery is a mean, green, clean, rum producing beast. Uh, I mean, we're setting the standard for a green environmental distillery. Uh, our products are fantastic and people rave about it. So I, I think without tooting my own horn that we deserved it. It was great. Toot, toot. There you go. <laughs> Can you give us an interesting piece of history or a fact about Don Q that maybe the public don't know about quite yet? Yes, absolutely. It's a family-owned and operated sixth-generation company. So we have been with the same family, and it is the same family, and it is a family. We just make rum. We're not a big, ginormous corporation, so it is much more intimate, and it holds the value and tradition of that family for six generations. And you also take part in a lot of the competitions and you sponsor events and things like that as well. Um, how important is it to get your product into the hands of bartenders or to put them into prestigious um, competitions and things like that? We try to support the bartending community because they are our best allies and our best friends. They are also the people that are more interested in upkeeping and having the better quality products at their bars. So us being what we are, one of the finer rums in the world, we try to partner up with people that are interested in developing this and elevating the category. Award winning again, back at the Rum Fest experience. How are you recovering from last night's Golden Rum Barrel Awards? <laughs> Do you know what? Surprisingly well. You know, Ron doesn't tend to give me a hangover, so I'm okay today. It's good. All right, before I forget as well, let the people know your name. <laughs> uh, my name is Shaveen Shabiskani of Shiv. I'm the brand ambassador for Bacardi Rum. You're the award winning rum. The, the award winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. How has the rum experience been for you guys? Because each year you come here and it's just crazy, but how can you sum up these two days for us? Has it been a pinnacle for you guys? Well, you know, every year we try and do something different. And this year we're doing the VIP lounge. Um, and it's just a chance for people to come, sit down, and enjoy some rum cocktails, because Bacardi's all about cocktails, and really get to know who's drinking rather than just a quick one-to-one. -one. Everyone's coming, chilling out, and it's good. It's a nice, relaxed vibe this year. Right, so when you speak with people, have you ever had them give you a really great suggestion for using a cocktail or anything like that? Do you guys pick up kind of tips from people or how do you find that tips to put, make great drinks? Well, to be honest, most of the tips we learn are from books or to go into the Caribbean and see what they drink over there. And at the best place. I know, I know, it's learning, right? But here it's nice to hear what people like to drink Bacardi with and it surprises me sometimes, but um, it's a two-way relationship. What's been one of the highlights of 2012 for Bacardi? Um, well, we're actually 150 years old this year. So it's our birthday, so we've had lots of birthday parties. Um, we've been doing loads of stuff with new artists, Jesse Ware and Aluna George, so some cool music projects. And we had a big softball game for bartenders. So it's been really, really busy. It's been good. Loved it.